Starliner Recycling Technology is working on an ecologically sound economical solution for recycling of mixed textile waste of multi-material composition as part of the COIN Project X2 mat, which is led by the Plastics Cluster of Agoplus, the business agency of Lower Austria, and funded by the Austrian Federal Ministry for Digital and Economic Affairs. PVH Corporation will expand its footprint globally with the launch of heritage brand IZOD in Europe. The launch will be supported by a focused regional marketing, PR and social influencer campaign, along with a shop-in-shop -shop system in Spain with additional distribution within Europe, Russia and the Middle East region planned for spring 2019. Bangladesh's ready-made garment industry received a tremendous response from international buyers at the three-day apparel textile sourcing Canada event in Toronto recently. Over 500 manufacturers from 30 countries, including 17 from Bangladesh, participated in the exhibition. Buyers included Walmart, American Eagle, Gap, Hagar Canada and Tesco. Despite many Vietnamese garment firms facing significant hardships around a year ago because of orders being shifted to countries with low labor costs and tariffs, such as Cambodia and Bangladesh, the sector has bounced back after investing in technology and adjusting costs and inappropriate policies. A lot of large orders are now returning to the country. The Philippines Trade and Industry Secretary Ramon Lopez recently said the government will try to help the textile and garment industry through a possible free trade agreement with the United States. He said this at the first ever Philippine Garment Leader Goods Industries and Fabric Expo, in which 81 domestic and foreign companies participated. The largest textile mill in the world for spinning colored yarn opened recently in northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. Constructed with an investment of $735 million, the mill in Aksu, owned by Huafu Fashion Company Limited, world's largest supplier of mill on yarn, will witness a million spindles installed by the end of the year. Egypt has chalked out a plan to spend 23-24 billion Egyptian pounds on modernizing the state-owned textile sector, according to the head of the cotton and textile industries holding company Ahmed Mostafa. More funds may be spent later. The plan includes modernizing Duke and more than 30 other companies under the Ministry of Public Enterprise sector. The United States and Mexico have reached an agreement to revise key portions of the North American Free Trade Agreement and would finalize it within days, U.S. President Donald Trump recently said, suggesting he was ready to leave out Canada if the country delayed getting on board. Canada could face auto tariffs if it did not negotiate fairly, he said. That one form of energy can be transformed into another is a fundamental law of nature, nay physics. So, when someone says that kinetic energy can be converted into electricity, that would raise no eyebrows. But when someone claims to have developed a fabric which does precisely that, many in the textiles industry would be snapped into rapt attention. Such a fabric has indeed been developed by researchers at the Chalmers University of Technology, Gothenburg, Sweden.